We've been walking on these planks and now we've come to a split so we could go either way and we're gonna go straight. Look at all the pitcher plants that are here in the red moss. Isn't that cool? Here are some more pitcher plants. Uh, this one is a lot more full of water and as you can see they're more hidden in the moss. Why do you think this moss is so red, Gabby, and not green? Oh, maybe it absorbed a different kind of light instead of the green light. Yeah. We're coming to an open space at the end of the trail, and it's really neat because I think this, this is the bog. Look. The other bog had a lot of trees, and this one is very, very, very flat. This is the end of the path and you can see this is where the bog is. It's very flat. The bog last week had a lot of trees and this one is just um, very flat and there are little trees growing here and there. I found some of the witch's broom that just kind of grows in a bunch on the tree. That's the same stuff we saw at the other bog last week with Jamie Jo. Look at, look at this funky tree. And it has the witch's broom growing on it right there. Look at. I wonder what these are going to be when they get bigger and bloom. Might be lily pads, but I don't know. This part of the trail has lots of roots, so we need to be very careful where we walk. Look at what I found. It's a giant hole, and I wonder if something lives down there. It's full of water right now, though. I like these little plants that are kind of oval in shape that grow out here in the bog. Thank you for coming on our walk at the Filbert Crescenti. I hope I'm saying that right. Bog. Um, it's a wonderful path, and I hope you have a chance to uh, try it out during the pandemic.